De Koerders die worden al heel lang uh, uh, onderdrukt. This is a member of No Surrender speaking on Kurdish TV in the northern Iraqi city of Mosul. We've managed to set up an interview with the leader of No Surrender. This is a notoriously secretive organization. They don't normally speak to the press. But Klaas Otto says that he wants to set the record straight about why his friends have gone to Iraq. Ron is a good guy. He's a guy that is very good. He's a fighting machine. Do you worry about them? Hij is, uh, is No Surrender. Uh, maybe she come and never back. It's possible. I'm worried. Klaas also told us that all three bikers are ex-military, two Marines and one soldier. He said they travelled to Iraq after being outraged by the beheadings and that they're now using their expertise to train Kurdish fighters on the front line. The Dutch Ministry of Defence, though, has refused to confirm whether these men are indeed ex-soldiers. The Dutch government recently launched an official action plan designed to stop the jihadi exodus. 49 dual nationals have had their Dutch passports revoked. But the prosecutor says the bikers will not be subject to the same sanctions. The main difference is that uh, the jihadis going uh, to Syria or Iraq are uh, suspect of being member of a terrorist organization. We, as the Mujahideen from Europe, the Netherlands now has nationals fighting on three different sides in Iraq and Syria. The Dutch jihadis joining the extremists, the Dutch bikers fighting alongside the Kurds, and the Dutch military operating in Iraq as part of the US-led coalition. Their presence encapsulates a few of the complexities in a conflict that European citizens are increasingly being drawn towards. Anna Holligan, BBC News. In Breda.